Uh, so my name is Walter Parkinson and I'm the assistant farm manager here at Silster Farms and I also serve as the president of the Standard Red Breeders of Ontario Association. During breeding and foaling season, uh, my role is to handle the stallions for collections. Uh, Karen is doing the actual collection and Tina Marie is up in the, the vet's room doing the lab work. Uh, then we all work together um, doing the barn work uh, with the mares and foals, stallions as well. Uh, outside of the season, I do sit on a bunch of committees through my role with the SBOA. Um, so I'm also a director for Ontario Racing, so I have that to do. Uh, and then sit on a few different committees that are involved with that. So combination of, of some of the advertising and uh, the business end of the farm is all involved in there as well. Uh, we're certainly looking to have both quality pacers and trotters. So, uh, we do have that, we have a balance of that. Uh, we're at nine stallions right now, so that's, that's a very comfortable number for us. Uh, we always want to promote uh, quality over quantity um, and trying to attract those new top stallions off the track that are retiring is always uh, our goal each and every year, uh, especially as you head into the late summer, fall, when you know who some of the top three-year-olds are or the aged, uh, aged uh, pacers and trotters that might be retiring. Uh, you know, our goal is to attract them here to the farm and have them for the Ontario Sour Stakes program. Uh, Camlock's shoes are certainly a, a, a tough pair to fill. Uh, his dominance was felt throughout North America. He didn't just uh, you know, set the stage for the Ontario Sour Stakes. He took the farm and uh, the pacing breed uh, to a different level. So trying to find another one of him is, is always a long-term goal. But I think the farm right now has a, a lot of really nice up and coming stallions and stallions who are proving to be perennial top performers like Big Jim, um, Sunshine Beach is, is really starting to show himself. Uh, and then we have younger on the trotting side like Wheeling and Dealing, uh, and then new stallions that are just coming with their foals on the ground. This season, uh, all bets off and looks like a Chippendale. Uh, but on balance, I think we have a really nice group. Um, you know as who's going to be the next Camlock, that's what you're looking for and they're, they're few and far between. It's certainly a process, so you want to attract the, the best you can, uh, but you know you're having to go up against other Ontario farms, but you know farms in Pennsylvania and New York are major competitors. Uh, so certainly you want the combination of on-track performance and pedigree and hopefully the confirmation to go with it. So you know once you start narrowing it down that much, you know the the stallions that everyone wants sort of becomes a narrow pool in any given year. Uh, and ultimately, you would love to have a new stallion come in every year, whether it's Pacer or Trotter, or, or sometimes you're lucky enough to get one of each, each season, but, but it's competitive at the, at the higher end. You know, it only benefits everyone to work together. Um, you know, we want to have the best and be the best, but that doesn't mean wishing, wishing not well on other people. So. Uh, you know, we're friends with everyone and uh, we wish them well and they wish us well. And we know that it's going to come down to, to a small pool of people if, if a stallion owner or a, a stallion group of owners are looking at Ontario Farms. We know it really comes down to just a handful of operations. Uh, and so what each, each group of owners decides to be their ultimate selection is, is certainly something we can respect. And, and we hope that it's often us, but we know it's not always going to be us. So.